This video will briefly describe the default toolbars in ArcPad 10 and how the user has control over those toolbars and what shows up on them. Let me start ArcPad 10 here on the desktop. When we run it for the first time, it says it will create an ArcPad APX file. The ArcPad APX file controls what toolbars get displayed by default. And it says we can modify those using the ArcPad Toolbar Manager. So I'll click OK. I get my five toolbars. Actually, there's six. We have the main, we have the browse, we have the edit, we have quick capture, we have navigation, and we also have this uh, quick tools here. And we'll look at all of those. But these two toolbars that are brand new are always going to show up. And we may have customers ask questions about that. For example, navigation. We see here on the desktop that the street map tools are already on there because the street map extension is al always installed on the desktop. On the mobile, street map is not installed by default. It has to be deployed using the deployment manager. So the navigation toolbar contains nothing. Well, what if they just want to hide the navigation toolbar, get rid of it? Because they're not going to use street map. They don't have Arc Logistics, and they're not going to buy it. Well, that's fairly easy for us to do. Let's see how to get rid of the navigation toolbar. Okay, we'll close ArcPad and we'll open up the ArcPad toolbar manager and edit the ArcPad APX. So if I want to get rid of the navigation toolbar, I'll click on it and drag it away. Yes, I want to get rid of it. Save that. Quit. Now when I run ArcPad again, I'm going to pin this to my start menu so it's easier to start. Okay, ArcPad 10. Okay, now we notice that our quick capture toolbar is still there. And look, our, our navigation toolbar is still there. Well, what does that mean? Well, in fact, this is the street map toolbar. And so we'd have to actually remove the street map uh, toolbar as well. But let's look at this on the, the mobile. If we copy that ArcPad APX file, copy it over to the mobile device under My Documents, My ArcPad, and then let's exit ArcPad and come back into it. Because StreetMap is not installed on the mobile device, we should not see StreetMap show up over there. And the navigation toolbar will also be hidden. Okay, so I want to open the last map I used, which was that sample data. And I should not have a navigation toolbar anymore. Okay, so there's my Riverside data opening up. And as we can see, we don't have a navigation toolbar. So we've been successful in, in hiding that. Okay, let me exit out of ArcPad. Now how do I get that back? Well, over here in on the desktop, my documents, my ArcPad, if I want to restore the default, then I'll just delete the ArcPad APX file and when I run ArcPad again, it will recreate it with the default settings. Okay, so the next question then will be, I don't want to use StreetMap. I'm a customer who does want to use Arc Logistics. How do I get the navigation toolbar to have the Arc Logistics tools on it? We're going to go back into the ArcPad Toolbar Manager. edit the default APX. So here under navigation we see it doesn't list all those street map tools because they're automatically added if they're present. But how do we add the ones for street map? I mean I'm sorry for Arc Logistics. Those tools are actually at the top of the list. There is no description for them as of yet. I imagine that's something that'll get fixed in a service pack or something. But there is an add nav map tool and actually that one is already present on the navigation toolbar, this add nav map tool. And then there's a navigator button. So 
If we drag that over to the navigation toolbar, that would shell us over to Navigator to just start the program up. Um, those tools let us do two things in Navigator. Select which default map to use and actually run the program, the Navigator program, without having uh, a destination set in ArcPad. But in fact, those tools are not necessary for firing up Navigator. Let me save and quit and go back to ArcPad. Really, if we go into the ArcPad options here under Navigation, we can set that default nav map, if we had it, um, straight from the ArcPad options. We don't have to have uh, the Navigation toolbar to do that. And the navigation mode, our choices are line of sight, arc logistics, or line of sight plus arc logistics. Arc logistics would show up as a choice if it was installed on the device. And so really, this toolbar with the navigation tools on it, if you're using arc logistics, doesn't even really need to be there either, except to choose a map and to fire it up uh, on its own without having a target. Otherwise, to get it to work, all one would have to do is set the settings here in ArcPad Options, and then any time a navigation target is selected, then Arc Logistics uh, would be used to, to find directions to it. Now, further on this idea of toolbars and hiding them or displaying them, let's say that someone wants to get rid of. I'm sorry. I want to use the toolbar manager. Let's say someone wants to get rid of the quick capture toolbar. Okay, same way, come in here, drag it away. Yes, I want to remove it. I want to remove navigation also. Okay, and we'll save that. Quit. And let's restart ArcPad. Okay. So the quick capture toolbar is gone. And again, we still have the street map toolbar. If we wanted to get rid of that on the desktop, we'd actually have to go in and get rid of the um, Street map applet files. Street map applet files are under program files, ArcGIS, ArcPad 10 applets. And so we could just come in here and actually just delete them. And the next time we run ArcPad, that toolbar is gone also. Of course, on the, on the mobile, Street map isn't there unless you deploy it. So that's just a brief down and dirty uh, explanation of the new toolbars in ArcPad 10. Um, one additional thing that I want to mention in this video has to do with that quick action toolbar. The quick action toolbar is the one that shows up when ArcPad is running with the big ArcPad icon. So let me open up ArcPad and I'll show you this that toolbar is also configurable and so people can basically set up sort of a hot list of tools that they use all the time on the quick action toolbar. Now, so just do a new map. So this is the quick action toolbar. Okay, and by default the quick action toolbar is the same as the drop down underneath the file menu. But a user can easily create their own quick action toolbar to have tools and options on it that they want. Let me show you an example of that. This is a quick action toolbar that I put together just as an example. It's got some simple uh, tools on it. Fixed zoom in, fixed zoom out, zoom full extent. Uh, it's got a label tool so I can just click on things and label them. I can toggle on or off the map navigator which is this one. I can toggle on or off the scale bar, toggle on or off a north arrow. I don't see that toggling on or off. That's interesting. Oh, it's up there. Okay. 
and panning frame. You can toggle that on or off. Or I can exit arc pad. So tools that you use a lot could be stuck right there on the uh, on the quick action. Now one other thing that's new in ArcPad 10 has to do with this map navigator. Now this is a, a sort of a love-hate thing. Some people like this map navigator, some people don't like it. If I click on a tool or button it will do something. These tools are intended to be a use once sort of thing. So I click on pan, I pan. Now I made a liar out of me. It's not set to use once. Zoom in. Okay, so that did work. Zoom out. These are intended to be used once. So if I click on zoom in, it highlights it, activates it. Once I zoom in, it goes back to whatever it was doing before. Okay. That's the way the pan is supposed to work too, but I've already changed that so that it's not a use once tool. I can continue to use it. It works just the way it would work if I activated it um, over on the toolbar, the browse toolbar. Those settings for whether or not the tools are used once um, are now configurable. Additionally, the tools that are placed on this uh, map navigator are configurable as well. They're not yet configurable in the toolbar manager. They are configurable, however, in the ArcPad preferences file. <coughs> if I open this up in Notepad, uh, there, there now is a quick action item in here. I take that back, it's in the ArcPad APX. The quick action toolbar is defined now in the APX. It's just not editable in the toolbar editor yet. Um, but I can come in here and I can make uh, these tools use once true or use once false. Um, I can also add my own toolbars in here. This is a little bit lower level than most people are going to get into, but the fact is that toolbar is also um, configurable. So that's about all uh, for now on the new ArcPad toolbars. Um, the next thing we'll talk about in a different video is something that shows up. That's, there's a couple of things that show up new in various places of ArcPad 10.